extension. When you're in areas of high traffic, one thing you might notice are what we call cow paths. Here on the CSU campus, we're going to call them ram paths, and they're caused by students, faculty, and staff, and other visitors who, instead of using the sidewalk, decide to cut across an area of turf or mulched areas. These places are not good, and Amy will tell you why. Hi, I'm Amy Lenz with Weld County. This is an example of what Allison was talking about. Today we're calling them Ram Paths being here on the CSU campus, also known as Cow Paths or just plain cut throughs. These are highly traveled areas to get from point A to point B more quickly without using the sidewalk. As you can see, this is pretty detrimental to the grass underneath as this constant travel causes high compaction to the area, allowing for no grass to grow. I'm going to pass this off to Tony Koski, CSU's turf guy. He's going to tell you a little bit more about how to maintain these areas. Hi, these trafficked areas that you find on campuses and uh, other landscape areas where the grass disappears and we're left with nothing but dirt require uh, extra maintenance if you want to keep grass growing on them. That would require core cultivation, pulling those plugs, making those holes. Uh, seeding the appropriate grass in here, probably extra fertilizer, extra watering. Uh, those would all be required to keep grass growing in these areas. Uh, probably a better solution though is to find some way to reroute the traffic so they don't happen. Um, or ultimately, it might mean installing a sidewalk because people have obviously found the shortest distance to go from point A to point B.